bakunawa bakunawa sa big sa ilaw bakunawa mula sa kailaliman ng dagat tumakas sa kagabihan Hi, my name is Micaela Tobin. I play as White Boy Scream, and I'm going to answer some questions. I would describe myself as an opera outlaw, and the music I make as noise opera. <laughs> The visibility that I have with the project, with my music, um, is very empowering and I feel that that seeps back um, into my family. Um, it empowers my mother, you know, I do a lot of these music projects for my grandmother in honor of my grandmother as well. So I feel like a lot of healing ha is happening. Um, and that's really important to me. So I'm really honored to be a woman, a woman of color, um, making music um, in this day and age. I think the cons would probably be, you know, a lot of cis men that approach me, um, that are fans or that ask me to collaborate. I never really am sure if they're just, you know, liking the music and, you know, complimenting me because they gen genuinely like like the project or if they're trying to sleep with me or you know be weird and creepy so there's always that kind of line that makes me uncomfortable I always wish a journalist would ask about my tattoos. I'm really proud of them, I love them, um, they protect me. Um, this one is um, an inlet pattern from the region of the Philippines that my great-grandmother is from. It was designed and done by my dear friend uh, Nicanor Evangelista, who's a tattoo artist in LA that specializes in indigenous Filipino tattooing. And he also did this other one. This other one tells the story of the Bakunawa, which my last album and my opera film is based around. Um, Bakunawa is a moon-eating serpent from pre-colonial Philippine mythology um, that is responsible for the lunar eclipses. And Bakunawa, the story goes that Bakunawa, um, that there used to be seven moons in the sky. Bakunawa rose from the water, mesmerized by the light of the seven moons. Um, Bakunawa ate six of them before the community came out begging the Bakunawa to leave the seventh moon in the sky. So this is a picture of Bakunawa um, about to eat eating the seventh moon. Well, I always dream about water, about the ocean, about tidal waves. I think that's a pretty common one for most people. I think it has to do with, you know, being an anxious person. Um, but actually, when I was little, I had a dream that I know now was actually of the Bakunawa, the moon-eating serpent. So in my childhood home, we used to have like a pond in the backyard with kind of like a cheesy waterfall. It was, you know, designed in the 70s. Um, and I had a dream a couple different times that I came out onto the patio in the middle of the night, must have been maybe four or five, and the pond was, it was dark out, the pond had all this smoke rising from it or this fog that was green. Um, there was a really eerie kind of magical feeling. Um, and in the pond, I saw this serpent coming in and out of the water and I could just see the body going like this. 
And the last thing in the dream that I remember was that I jumped into the pond and started riding this serpent. Um, and it actually was really fun. And when I was getting this tattoo, some fog started rolling in. I could see from outside the window and the color of the fog reminded me of that dream, the, co the fog in the dream that I hadn't thought about since I was a little girl. So that's a really cool one for me. Yeah, special memory. So I've actually thought about this. I would like to be buried in my favorite place, which is the Saguaro National Park. Um, I have this tattoo of it um, in Tucson, Arizona. I have a weird special connection to Saguaro cacti. I believe that they are, I just get really emotional whenever I'm in that region um, around them. I think they're a really beautiful type of um, cactus um, and my dream is to have my ashes or whatever, you know, buried, strewn across the, under a saguaro somehow. Um, but I don't know how to really make that happen. So that's just gonna be left up to whoever, whoever I leave behind. Well, lucky person. <laughs>